with Russia to its north and east and Ukraine to its south. Belarus is a landlocked country with a population of 9.5 million. Until it became independent in 1991, it was part of the Soviet Union. And since 1994, it's been ruled with an iron fist by one man, Alexander Lukashenko. The collapse of the USSR left its economy weakened and largely dependent on Russia, accounting for almost three-fifths of its imports. Being poor in natural resources apart from potash and peat, the economy is dominated by Soviet-era factories and farms controlled by Lukashenko. For Russia, Belarus is a strategic buffer lying between it and NATO members like Poland, Latvia and Lithuania. The 1999 Union State Foundation Treaty aimed to create a Russian-Belarusian federation with a common currency. But the relationship has become more complicated in recent years, as Lukashenko started looking towards Europe for political and economic reasons, while keeping good ties with Moscow. He remained ambiguous during the 2014 Ukraine crisis and Russia's annexation of Crimea and went on to host peace talks. Now, Lukashenko's balancing act is becoming more difficult as mass protests are posing the biggest challenge in his 26-year rule. Belarus's long-muzzled opposition are finding a voice despite the crackdown which forced some into exile. Belarus has woken up. We are not the opposition anymore. We are the majority now. The peaceful revolution is taking place. The beleaguered president has accused Russia of election interference and the West of orchestrating the unrest.